So all of us have that one person who kind of doesn't have all their faith in the things that we claim we'd like to do. These kind of people generally have a tendency to bring others down. Which... Sometimes it works, but then there are the times where it doesn't. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I, don't, I can't remember directly why this came to my mind, but something that I've been observing recently with the people that I've come across is that where I live, many people live here for the sake of trying to prove something. Trying to prove they can make it on their own. <clears throat> and in recent memory, I've met a lot of people who have made several claims that others have told them that they could not do so at all. And for the most part, this, brought, this brings people down and brings bad conflict. But to me, it's a motivator, in a sense. Doesn't mean there's something good ever going to come out between the ones who thought that the person couldn't do it, but it does. The upside about this kind of thing is it brings on motivation to keep trying. Some people don't see it like this, but that's how I do. In fact, I might be wrong, but I, I've been living out long enough to where I can't even remember if this is true or not, but I think one of the major reasons that I moved out here is because I was told by several individuals uh, that the way I was going about things I wouldn't be able to live out on my own and at the start of, I, I moved when I moved out it was very self-conscious about that but in a sense at the time these people were right and I, I noticed it, and I was like, this is unacceptable. Over time, it took a lot of time, but over time that changed. And where I am now is... In the position I'm in now, it's probably not something I could just go back to myself and go, yeah, you're going to be at this point, but without that kind of push for the people who had said these kind of things, there's no way I would have been able to get to that point in the first place. Now, some people say this kind of stuff out of care to try and push someone to do it, others do it out of true disbelief. The people who do it out of true disbelief, honestly, they're, they're shame to people who do that. But at the same time, the only good that come out of people doing that, who do that, is the motivation to prove the person wrong. It's kind of sad to think about, but... I mean, there's a reason the phrase, shun the non-believer, exists. <laughs> but non-believers have a tendency to get their own, in a sense. Some of them don't, because some of the people who don't believe it are doing it more out of care. Those ones I'm not referring to. Those ones are more like family members who are like, you know what? Because of blah, blah, and blah, I don't think you're ready yet. Kind of thing. That's not what I mean. I mean the kind of people who just up front go, you will not make it. I have doubts in you. Like with no rhyme or reason. Those kind of non-believers, non I've come across so many of those and it's retarded. It's, it's just, I don't, I mean, there's not even a word I could really use to describe it. Well, that's how dumb it is. That's, it's, people are illogical like that sometimes and it's kind of saddening. I guess one reason this came to my mind is because for the past year, the friends that I've made, lost, all that kind of stuff, all of them have been told in one sense or the other that they wouldn't be able to make it. And yet they're out here now, living their own, making their own livings, and doing as much as they can to benefit themselves. <coughs> many hiccups, or not, they're still doing it. 
Now this is coming from the perspective of somebody who believes in people as a whole, likes giving people the benefit of the doubt. So for this to come from me, I shun, I yes, I will shun those who don't do that, who at least don't provide a chance. And so don't. But you know what? They're lost. Either way around, though, these are my thoughts on non-believers, I guess you could say. Uh, what do you guys think about this kind of concept? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you liked the, what I had... <coughs> oh boy, I've been talking a lot. If you like what I had to say here, make sure to press that like button and so far you can't say anymore. Or at least if you enjoyed the video. Uh, le again, let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments below, or if you want to hear about a different type of topic that you might have in mind. Want to check out any other things I've talked about, whether it's about me specifically, or if it's kind of a discussive topic like this, or rant. Click the links on the side of my head. Want to check out any of the live stuff that I've done, like the uh, Dave Drive with Dave and Amber, which I'm going to be doing often, and Drives is just the start of it, with that. I like kind of being involved. But if you want to check out any of the live stuff, or the gaming stuff, like what you're going to see later today, check out the channel itself, whether it's right here somewhere, or down there. Um, <clears throat> a lot of good content, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's my opinion. You decide for yourself. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.